leadership energy. What the heck is that? And how on earth is that going to help me supersize my business? I can hear you asking yourself that. And I asked myself that too, because I wondered how is being a leader, being a better leader, and what the heck is leadership energy anyway, how is that going to impact me and me growing my business? Well, the answer came through my podcast. I interviewed an amazing woman named Cheryl Lightshoe. This is a copy of her book. And she, it was one of my most popular podcasts so far. It's been the most listened to, I think the second or third most listened to of all of the podcasts I've done. And I've done over a thousand podcasts this year. And it has been one of the top three most popular on an ongoing basis because Cheryl got on and she taught us about how she adds bioenergy to the topic in the area of leadership. Now she's got a psychology degree and she's got this amazing book, which I'm going to encourage you all to pick up and read, but I want to kind of do something different for Supersize Your Business. We have spent the last couple of months going deep in the strategies, the science behind growing and creating the business that you want. Then we've gone through the last challenge was a mindset and examples of people's successful strategies. So we've done all of the, the, you know, nuts and bolts, strategic, strategic, strategic ways of growing and supersizing your business. I want to kind of bring home the message that we can do all those things, but until we become the leader that's capable of leading the organization that we want to lead, we can't create that organization. Until we get out of our own way in many instances, our organization will stall at different levels of development and growth, waiting for us to catch up. Either we personally catch up with our skills and abilities, or we bring on the people and the resources that will help us take our business to the next level. And one of the areas that I find a lot of my clients get stumbled and get stagnant at is in the area of leadership. When they go from being a solopreneur where they can do everything themselves and they're awesome at it because entrepreneurs are massive multitaskers and we're really good at doing a million things at once and more things than any other human being would think is even possible. But at some point we need to start bringing people on and creating our own team that helps support us so we can have a bigger impact in our lives and on the world. And one of the things that has to happen is that means we have to become a leader. We have to Go from being just a do-do-doer to being a leader where we can share our message with other people and get other people involved in our projects to help us make the big things that we want to have happen happen in our businesses. If you want to supersize your business, you're not going to do it alone and you're not going to do it in a vacuum. So I want to take a few days over the next week or so to go through Cheryl's approach to how she adds, how she adds the, the topic of, of bioenergy in seven different areas of your life and how that dramatically impacts your ability to be an awesome leader. So her book is actually divided into three parts. It is connecting to yourself, connecting to others, and then seeing the big picture. And in each of those, and then putting it all together, and in each of those areas, she pulls in the topic of bio energy. Now, tomorrow I'll talk about what the heck is bioenergy? What does that even mean? Because Cheryl describes herself as a leadership energy guru. And I was like, what the heck is that? Which is part of why I was so intrigued and excited to have her on my podcast. If anybody would like that podcast episode, go ahead and, and put me in the comments below and I'll make sure I get the link and attach the link because it's definitely worth listening to. And it's much, I'm sure I will do the best I can to explain her process. And part of why I'm doing this is I want to make myself read the book and actually learn and apply these principles to my own business. So it's a little bit selfish, but if I'm learning it and sharing it, why not share it so that I know you can use it and you can apply what works for you in your business as well. So tomorrow we will start by connecting to ourselves. That's part one. And it's all the first chapter is all about I trust. I suspect it's going to be about some of our limiting beliefs and not trusting ourselves and thinking that we're worthy. Bingo! Something many of us need to learn about. So that's it. Go out, make it an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow. And we will do I Connect, I trust, and I connect to myself. All right.